What is up everyone at Ricky 572 return a chance today's January 20th 2024 we're gonna hop on and do a quick market watch so we're gonna be starting off the market watch with Maze and Millennia since it is I guess day two yesterday was day one of the release of Maze and Millennia uh, we have bonfire that came down in price hopefully you guys didn't buy bonfire at like pre-sale price of like a hundred dollars and over that because it did drop down in price so it looks like we have 56 listings i'm pretty sure we're going to have more listings and this car dropped down even further over uh the next couple of days and some shops are barely getting in their product today and opening uh, the product and then some players might be just getting their stuff in too so yeah we'll take a look at this throughout the week i mean next week and keep an eye and see what these prices drop to uh it looks like we have one listing that's basically like 81 dollars and 81.77 82 dollars 8306 uh 8495 8499 and 85 ish dollars so like between 80 and 85 dollars for bonfire at the moment i still think it's pretty high uh let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about bonfire i feel like it's gonna drop down to like the 60 dollar price point but we'll see what happens with that uh thrust this one i believe was short printed that's what i've been hearing that you only get a couple copies of thrust per case and bonfire isn't short printed that's what i heard uh, let me know down below if you guys heard otherwise but it looks like the rest is at 49 listings uh we have this right now 41.95 40.99 $41, 42.93 42.95 $42, $42, $42, $42.99 so i think it will drop down in price i'm hoping to pick this up around like 30 35 ish dollars uh but we'll see if it hits that in the next couple of days transaction rollback of 47 listings Looks like it did drop down too. I think it was pre-selling for like $60, $70. Uh, right now we have it at $39.10, $39.95, $38.98, $39.99. So heading up to the $40 price point. Uh, my brother actually needs needs to place it at this. So I'm hoping uh, they do drop down a little bit more. I think around $30 is a reasonable price for this card. Uh, then we have, let's see, that's quarter century. Uh, collector rare i'm not trying to focus too much on like the higher rarity stuff because a lot of it tends to go down in price if you guys haven't heard also we have a, a rarity collection too coming out so we're gonna be taking a look at some of those cards that were confirmed in that set already and yeah it's pretty early that uh, i found it surprising that konami released this set pretty it's gonna release this set pretty early i think it's coming out like in may but we just had rarity collection a couple months back so that's what surprised me that they they're doing this so early maybe they like heard the community like talk about how cards were too expensive which i mean some cards are and uh i guess they were like here have this uh harmonic synchro fusion looks like it's at 57 listings and nine dollars and fifty cents uh, we have number one in infection bus king 75 listings i think i saw this car pre-selling for like 10 15 dollars now we have it at 819 824 725 839 889 899 on the first page so under 10 dollars for uh this injection bus king i think it's a good like rank 8 monster but it's not like something that you know you really need there's other rank 8 monsters you could access uh, fighting flame swordsman i'm actually surprised this is above eight dollars i'm not sure if uh the flame swordsman support is that good so if this card normal or special summon you could add a spell or trap dimension flame swordsman from your deck to your hand so i guess the searcher probably something you would want to place it up if you are playing flame swordsman but i feel like it's going to drop down even further in price probably hit like the five dollar price point but we have it at 794 eight dollars 733 750 895 899 and 899 basically with shipping on the first page so not too bad but i feel like it's going to drop down to like five, the five dollar price point it looks like the most expensive cards are going to be transaction rollback and thrust and bonfire so these are like the chase cards people are going to be wanting to pull if they are buying this set if you guys did buy this set let me know down below what you guys pulled from it and uh what you guys were looking for in this set because i'm looking for the dino stuff I actually haven't gone to pick up my dino stuff because I've been busy, but I might go later on today to, to my locals and just pick those cards up since they're pretty cheap. Uh, Fighting Flame Sword, seven ish dollars. Rescue Ace Hydrant, uh, it's a super rare. It looks like it's like four to five dollars. Eye of Illusion, two to three dollars. Ancient Chant, like two dollars. Photon Delta Wing, a uh, dollar or two. 
Earthbound Prisoner is a super rare. I think that's it, right? Oh, we have Drastic Draw right here. Another ultra rare. Uh, this one, I think, lets you draw three, right? I think that's what it says. Banish all your monster. Banish all monster you control. Minimum two. Draw three cards. You cannot normal or special summon to turn you activate this card except Cyrus Monster. So I guess Cyber Support. Let me know down below if you guys are going to be playing this because that's kind of a big cost to banish two monsters to draw three. Uh, but they do spam out a lot, so maybe it's possible. Earthbound Prison. Looks like everything else is under a dollar. So not, we're not going to be taking a look at too much of the stuff. But yeah, it looks like everything else aside from like that. And the ones on the first page are like a dollar and under. So yeah, the Chase Cards, Bonfire, Transaction, Rollback, and um, what was the other one? Thrust. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to go pick up today. My Kaido Patera. And where's the other one? And a Horn Sword. So this one comes in rare. This one comes in super rare. I'm really excited about that. And I only have to spend like a dollar to purchase them. Maybe I'll buy like a, a box and see what I pull from it. But yeah, that's going to be it for your, I guess, day two Maze of Millennial. Uh, like I said, we'll take a look back at this later on this week and see uh, if the price of like Bonfire and the other ones start to drop down even further because more people are going to be listing next up we have okay so uh let me pull up the the thing and i'll pull it up right here too so you guys could see it too rarity collection 2 we're going to be talking about a couple of the reprint and see how they got affected because i know they started to drop down in price so we have access code we have magician so we have silent magician silent swordsman drawn lockbird uh ghost ogre and Snow Rabbit, and then we have uh, Moonlit Chill, we have Phantasma getting reprinted, uh, we have IP Masquerino Alternative Art, I'm not sure if the regular art is going to be in there, It would, but it wouldn't surprise me if Konami does decide to put it in there. But we have Rescue Cat 2, we have Apollosa, and a lot of the planets too, the uh, Primeval Planet, Pressure Planet, uh, Primitive Planet, and Peaceful Planet Calarium, so... Yeah, those are the reprints, and like I said, it should be on here on the screen somewhere so you guys can see it. So we're going to be taking a look at access code first. We have the access code from Attorney Code. Looks like these already start started to drop down in price because a couple weeks ago we took a look at this. It was around like, I think, $50, $60. Uh, but yeah, it looks like these did start to drop down. Attorney Code versions, this was, I guess, the highest rarity, and we can take a look at the graph. They did dip. We have these right now at $30, $31.89, $31.89, $30.90, $32, and $32.99 on the first page with 64 listings available on the market. And then we have the premium gold rare, 72, 72 listings. It looks like this one is now at $19.99, $20, $20.19, uh, and $20.98. I actually got rid of mine just in time a couple weeks back because I wasn't using it. So I was like, you know what? Let me. Uh, profit off off this um, access code while I still can because I had a feeling it was going to get reprinted in the Battles of Legend Chapter 1 set. I didn't know anything about like the rarity collection but I just had a hunch it was going to be in that but I guess it's not going to be in there and um, it's going to be in, in the rarity collection. We have the reprint from Battles of Legend, Crystal Revenge 78 listings and we have it at $21.99, $22.99 $25 $25 on the first page so yeah they are starting to drop. If you guys have some of these, I guess I would get rid of them if you aren't using them. Because they're probably going to drop down even further the closer we get to the rarity collection too. Um, if you need one, because you're trying to like top a regional or something to get your invite. Yeah, that's going to be tough. You're going to have to spend the $20 for access code knowing that it's going to get reprinted in the rarity collection. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you guys decide what to do with that. Let me know down below if you guys are buying an access code or need an access code or if you guys are selling all your access codes right now. Uh, we have Magician Souls next. This one was actually reaching like the 30, 4, 30 to $40 price point. Looks like they did start to drop down too. We have them sitting at 35 listings for this one. It's at, let's see, we have it at 19 19 20 22 23 99 and 24 dollars So yeah, it's dropping down in price. Then we have the blue one. Looks like it's eighteen ninety nine or twenty six. Cause we had a market price of twenty six. Yeah, these are starting to hit like the twenty dollar price point too. So they are all coming down. Uh, next up, we have the ultra rare. Looks like this one's at forty two listings. This one's closer to thirty thirty dollars. 
dollars and thirty dollars. But yeah, if you guys aren't using them, I I would try to uh, get at the most that I can before they do start start to drop down even further in price, since they are getting like since Magician Souls is getting seven different other printings. Uh, the red one looks like it's at twenty three. And then the secret looks like looks like it's at 60 listings. It's at 14.50. It says 14.50, $15, uh, 14.99, $15, 15.88, and yeah, 14.99. So yeah, these did drop down from like the 30, 36, 40 dollar price point that they were at a couple of weeks back. So yeah, get rid of them while you still can if you guys aren't using them. Uh, Silent Magician only has one printing, which I'm not really sure what this was used in. But yeah, it only has one printing. It was sitting around like thirty-five-ish dollars. Let's see what it's at right now. Uh, we have it at twenty-four, twenty-four ninety-eight, twenty-seven ninety-eight, twenty-eight eighty-nine, and heading up to twenty-seven ninety. But it did drop down because it says it was like like around like thirty-five-ish dollars a couple weeks ago. So yeah, it's dropping down in price too. Same thing. If you guys aren't using it, try to get the most out of it before the Rarity Collection Two comes out. Joe and Lockbird. This one kind of surprised me. I actually bought a couple Joe and Lockbird like commons a couple of days ago for like a dollar or two, I think, each. Uh, now they're gonna probably not be worth anything. Let's see, we have rares at like two forty, two to three dollars. Commons from the fire construction deck like two to three dollars. Uh, looks like they haven't moved too much since the announcement of the rarity collection. Looks like they're still kind of up there in price. Eight dollars, ten dollars, uh, ten dollars, five dollars for this rare, four dollars for like common. That's great. I think people are gonna be needing jewels right now if they are going to like events and trying to uh, top. They're probably gonna be needing the jewels, so they're not really paying too much attention about like selling off their drawing lock birds because it's gonna be one of those hand traps that I think is gonna be impactful this format. So I think players are gonna hold on to their jewels even though it's getting reprinted. Uh, but I guess like if you are holding on to like the higher rarity ones, like these ultimate rares or these collector rares, I would sell them off and just pick up like your play set of the lower rarities because these will tank down in price once those seven other printings of Joe and Lockbird come out. That's just my advice. Um, let me know how you guys feel about uh, Joe and Lockbird and what price point do you think is going to drop down to for these like higher rarity ones. Uh, we have Ghost Ogre 2. Uh, this one's actually pretty cheap, so yeah, not too much to say about this one. A lot of the copies are under a dollar. Uh, the only one is like the ultimate rare. Um, same thing. If you still have it, try to get the most out of it because seven different other printings, including I think the ultimate rare, prismatic ultimate rare or something like that, is coming out. So yeah, that's gonna drop down further in price. Probably gonna be like a thirty, twenty to thirty dollar cart uh, when the set releases. But yeah, a lot of the other versions. I have a bunch of these. Because I, I picked up a bunch of hand traps for like my inventory. So I'm, I'm holding on to a bunch of these. But I might just get rid of them since they, they're they not going up anytime soon. I might just give them away. Next up we have Phantasme. I remember this one was a little bit hyped up during last format when Unchained was doing good. And people were teching this. Looks like it's starting to drop down a little bit. And this one I remember was a little bit higher. Looks like it's around like 15 ish dollars now. Uh, I guess that's because of the reprint and people are just fire selling. Then we have ultra rares around like four or five fish dollars. Four dollars, four dollars, five seventy five, five seventy five, six dollars and six dollars. So yeah, the, these are starting to drop too. Uh, same thing. If you guys have some of these and aren't using them, just get rid of them before the reprints come out. So the alternative art version of IP Masquerina is the one that was confirmed for a reprint, but I'm not sure if they would put in the IP Masquerina original artwork. Let me know down below if you guys think Konami is going to put this artwork in there and not just this one. But this one's a premium gold where it's at 79 listings. It looks like it hasn't started to drop down in price because uh, last time I took a look at these, they were around like 7 to $8. looks like we still have them around that price, $7.69, $7.90, $7.95. Uh, 799 on the first page so they're holding around that price point but I would just come in and try to get rid of one before the reprint comes out because it doesn't help it that it's a gold rare uh, a lot of people don't like gold rare so now people are going to be able to pick up like seven other, other rarities with secret rares uh, collector rares and stuff like that so this one's just going to be like pennies uh, when the collection does come out so get rid of these if you guys still have them as for these I'm not really sure if they would put it in there 
it, it, it wouldn't surprise me if they would, if they were to put it in there, but if they don't put it in there, then I guess these will be worth a little bit something. Although you will have like access to the card with seven other different printings. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys think Konami's gonna put in the original artwork in the set or they're just gonna keep the alternative art one in the Rarity Collection set. So the alternative art Alpalosa is also one of the ones that's getting reprinted, but it wouldn't surprise me. Same thing as with IP if they put in the original artwork. So we'll see what happens then. But it looks like the alternative artwork Apollosa Gold Rares has started to go down in price because these were sitting around like $10, I think. I, I remember selling one for 10 a couple weeks back. Uh, $5, $5.21, then $7, $7.45, $7.49, $7.50, and $7. And $7. So we have people coming in and like listing these for five-ish dollars looks like a couple of people are trying to hold around the seven dollar price point but some other fire sellers are coming in and i'm pretty sure we're going to see more of that uh throughout the throughout the week and as we get closer to the rarity collection set apollosa for ultra rare magnificent mavens this one yeah it, it dipped down it was around like 11 ish dollars and right now we have them at 448 399 429 uh six dollars 501 and 640 650 on the first page so yeah if you guys have aren't, aren't using your Apollosas uh, get rid of them before the rarity collection 2 comes out pressure planet right south and peaceful planet calarium were two of the ones that kind of surprised me as being reprints in like the rarity collection set because I thought maybe Konami would save these for like this year's 10 since they're from cyberstorm access and photon hypernova that makes you wonder like if other photon hypernova cards or cyberstorm access cards might be in the Rarity Collection 2 set. Uh, Primitive Planet Rage Phobia already has a, a reprint, so that one doesn't bother me too much. Uh, and then Primeval Planet Pellerino only has one printing, uh, so this one was a good one. Uh, makes you wonder too if more Power of the Elements cards might be in the Rarity Collection 2 set, maybe like sprite cards or something. Uh, we have 184 listings right now for this one. It was around like $18 a couple days ago when I took a look at it. Now it's dropping down to $12.99, $12. .99, $12. 1305, 1305, and 1250. So, yeah, it's dropping down in price. We have Peaceful Planet Calarium at, let's see, what was it at? I think it was around $20. Now it's at $13, $13, $14.91, $14.99, $15, $14 $16.79 on the first page. So, yeah, it looks like a lot of people are already starting to fire sell this one. Uh, last, we have Pressure Planet Rice Salt. This is the Castillo Fields Fill. This one I actually don't see dropping down too much in price because Castillo has actually been doing pretty good uh, in the past like couple uh, regionals and stuff and other tournaments that I've seen online. So it's been doing pretty good. So I doubt this one is going to drop too much in price since they actually need it to play. Uh, 66 listings for this card and we have it at $18.95. So it did drop down because it was around like $30, $36. So now we have it at $18.95, $19.95. 1899, 2099, and 2394. But yeah, I don't see this card going or, or selling too fast unless players are or just decide to like switch from cashier to something else. Uh, I don't see it dropping down too fast in price since it is something that players do want to pick up to play. But we'll see what happens uh, in the next couple months as we go into the Rarity Collection 2 set. But yeah, let me know how you guys feel about Pressure Planet. Uh, right Soth and uh, Peaceful Planet Calarium being in the set and uh, Primeo Planet Pellerino too. Next, uh, let's see. Oh, we did get some Memento uh, support announced this morning. Uh, so it looks like they already started to get bought out. The Collector Rare Anguish is only at three listings. We have the Collector Rare uh, Mementoian. Dark Blade at two listings. This one is a quarter century. I think you only play like one of these. That's why it's still uh, not getting bought out. But this one's at 33 listings at $23. Uh, these did go up in price too. Looks like the lowest listing is at 53. It had a market price of 39.12. Uh, 47.99 had a market price of 30.54. And what else do we need? Let's see. These collector rares, 21.37. They were at 19 market price. Um, this collector rare, it looks like this one is getting the collector rare for um, this one is getting bought out, but not the quarter century rare, which kind of. It's surprising because isn't quarter century rare the higher rarity? Let me know down below. They're kind of saying the same price too. These are at 23. These are like 20-ish for listing. Yeah, let me know down below. Uh, Momentonian Anguish. 
Uh, it looks like it's at 875. I thought it would probably go a little bit more higher, but it uh, looks like we still have it. 875, 797, 799, eight dollars, eight dollars, and 766 and 55. I actually have a playset of this because I thought about building the deck, so I have the core. Uh, but it looks like uh, these will start to get bought out soon since the new support that was announced actually makes them a little bit better. Uh, we have Momentonian, Bone Party, 23 listings. Yeah, if you guys are planning to play Mementos, I'm not sure if they're going to be too good or like dominate the meta or anything, but I'm pretty sure they're going to go up higher since they did get new support. 23 listings is around like $7-ish. Uh, you only need like one of these, which is going to stay cheap around like 2 to $3. But these other ones, if you guys haven't got your memento stuff, I will get it right now before it starts going up even higher later on. Uh, and then everything else is cheap. We have super rare, super rare is under a dollar. So yeah, those are going to be cheap to pick up. But yeah, I would probably pick up these if you guys are planning to play this deck. That's going to be it for today's Market Watch though. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also go follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and X at Return of the Chance. This is Ricky572. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.